I have with me Sandra Sitton. She it lives here in the United States. But before no. we go, I mean, sorry, in the, in the okay. United Kingdom. Yeah. Before I talk about that, you know, there's too many things yeah. going on in my head. Okay, my co-presenter is here, Maureen Layokun. She is the publisher, CEO, Charming Magazine. She spoke to me. She said, Rose, there's a lady who got in touch with me concerning some top Nollywood actors defrauding women online. That is your story, Maureen. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead, Maureen. Hello, yeah. everyone. It's so nice to be uh, uh, having this conversation with, with us all this evening. Yeah, what has happened? Mm -hmm. Last week, about mm -hmm. 10 days ago, yeah. um, my journalist in Nigeria published something on my webpage and something totally unrelated to this issue we're talking about today. Yes. And um, lo and behold, it has something to do with the actual question, though. But it has nothing to do with online fraud or mm -hmm. whatever. And then Sandra Satan here yeah. commented on the, so topic, her, the post, that, on you the post yeah. that was on the page. And then you know, my guy asked her to mm -hmm. kind of, you know, please don't publish this. It's a public thing. Mm -hmm. You can't just go ahead and publish your things without proper, you know, proof and evidence and all that. And she said she had all those with her. Yeah. So she contacted me and then to tell me what was happening. And I said, oh, okay, this is a good story, but I can't do this by myself. Yeah. You so I do. called, I called Rose and um, he said, yeah, let's take it up from there. And that's why we're here today. Yes. And then viewers, um, I would like our viewers to know that we do have Sandra sitting here who has taken up the birthing to speak against online romance fraud. And of course, I have a number of um, prominent members of the Nigerian community here in the United Kingdom. I have um, Baroness J. Ari um, Ario, who is a, a broadcaster, social communicator, and um, she's a community leader here in the UK. So she's also joined us. And um, I have Messi Michaels from Nigeria. She's a journalist. She's a PR person for a lot of Nollywood celebrities, and she's also a relationship columnist. Um, Precious Easy is a content producer, a public speaker, uh, social media influencer. We also have um, HRM, Theodora Oyebade. She's the president of UK Nollywood Actors Guild. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, Caroline Imubabi. So she's from Kenya. So she's an author, she's a lawyer and a psychologist. Kemi Johnson is the founder of Climax Family, Family Hope. She's a speaker, writer, relationship analyst and coach. And we have Chris Asiegu. She's a UK based lawyer and businessman. And I must say, Chris has just done a movie with um, Samuel L. Jackson. Jackson. So oh, he's yeah. also with us. And of course, all the way from the United uh, States, we have, um, Cher yes, Cher Cheris. Cheris. yes, we have Cherries. Cherries is with us. Princess is Cheris. also with us. So can we have your name? Who, who do we have there? Think Tank 720. Can we have your name written out properly, please? We must know um, the we people who have joined us. So these are finalists. They are with us while we talk about this. So I'm going to um, allow Sandra to talk to us about um, our story. And then in the course of the program, Mike is ringing. Um, if he has a, well, um, a few minutes, he would join us, but I do believe that he is um, watching this. And um, he has sent us a video, which we're going to play um, in the course of the program about, um, you know, airing his view mm -hmm. about the issue on ground. Mm -hmm. But Sandra, you go ahead, let's hear from you. Right, uh, Mike Isuriani, or however you, you say his name, he approached me in December 2016, came into my Facebook in my DM. Hello, I'm Mike Isuriani, do you know me? I says, no, I've never heard This of was you. when? This was 2016. Okay. Towards Christmas. I says, no, I've never heard of you before. I've just seen your profile. I love your profile. I love your picture. I said, thank you very much. He yes. says, you don't know who I am. I said, no, never heard of you. Don't know who you are. Mm -hmm. oh, I'll send you some pictures. Send me some pictures. Then he called me the next day for a little chat. Did you look at the pictures, the videos? I said, yeah, I did. 
I, I'm not into Nigerian movies. I don't watch Nigerian movies, so I, I didn't know who he was. So yes. then he got that. And then he has a way when he'll talk to you for a couple of days on Facebook or Instagram, wherever he comes into your DM from. Then he will say, oh, look, let's come off of here. Here's my number. Let's talk on WhatsApp. With me, it was WhatsApp, but now he's changed it. It's all IMO. Um, went on to WhatsApp, and then he starts talking to you, and then he starts his dating. Then I like you. I like you a lot. I like to get to know you. Then it went to Christmas 2016, and I remember New Year's. He called me, and he said, oh, I wish I was with you. We could have had a glass of champagne. I said, well, I'm doing that now on my own. So he said, let's bring 2017 in together. I says, okay. Um, with all of his dating, dating mm -hmm. romance thing. And then it went on from 2017, January. And he had, he's very good at what he's, he does. He's very slick. He's very smooth. He will call you four or five times a day. It's like clockwork. Morning, afternoon, evening. Am I right, Charisse, princess? Evening, nighttime. You'll get the call every day, round the clock, round the clock. Then after about, I'd say, January, February, March, April, May, about April, May, he said to me, oh, look, Sandra, I'm having some trouble with money. I haven't got much money. Yes. I'm waiting for the movie Brother Jekyll to come out. And how it works in Nigeria, when you do a movie, you do the movie, but you don't get paid any money until the movie comes out. And then you see the rewards come in. I don't know if you can help me because I, I can't give my, I need to give my mum money. My mum needs money. I can't send um, money to Reynolds for his private school fees. And then as a woman, because you have children, he's very good. He knows what he does when he gets in, when he plays with women. He will ask you, have you... You're got... saying this is Mike Kazuri. This is Mike Kazuri. No, yes. no, no fake Mike. I don't want to hear about fake Mike. It's no fake Mike. I've dealt with victims with fake Mike. I'm dealing with me with Mike Kazuri. Okay? And then he'll say, oh, could you please help me because I can't give money to my mom. Right. The first money that I sent to you, Mike Kazuri, it was in your name. I'm, I get the receipt off my MoneyGram card. It's on my MoneyGram card. It's got your name on it. The next time he asked me to send him money, he said, oh, Sandra, I'm not in the country because I'm doing the film Brother Jekyll. Could you please send it to Cynthia Ike? And I've got the receipt, so I brought it with me. I said, okay. Cynthia Ike, who's Cynthia Ike? That's my housekeeper. So I thought, okay. So as a woman and as a mother, you feel for him because he's got a child. He's saying he's the eldest in his family. And when his father passed away, He's the one that brings the bread and the, and, the, uh, and the money in on the table. It's okay. all on him. And so you listen to it. And then I started to send him money for Cynthia I. Then I sent some more. And this just goes on and on, this story with my... Thank you, Zuri. And then he, then he tried to get me involved with a money laundering scam. Okay. Told, told me that he's having problems because his bank account... Um, his bank... Because he hasn't got any money coming in regular with his movies, his bank account's been frozen. He cannot get um, into his bank account. So it, it was with his wife because he was going through the divorce with his wife. Yeah. So he had problems with accessing money from his account because he was going through the divorce. So Sharice is smiling because she knows. He's told her the same rubbish. Okay. Right? Um, he cannot get access into the account. Could I please help him? Um, a company called Apex Limited owes him money. And if he's asking me to help him because he cannot accept the money in his name because his bank accounts and assets have been frozen because he's going through this problem with the divorce with his wife, his, his ex-wife now. So I says, all right then, so what do you want me to do? Could you please accept the money in, uh, in your name for me? So I said, right, So and please help me out with this because this is the only way I could get the money. So of course I've fallen in love with this guy because that's how he does it. He gets you to fall in love with him. You start to fall for him. It's like, look, I'll help you. Right, he asked me to send me my driving license, my passport, I sent my details. A company called Apex Limited has come into my email. Um, this is Apex Limited. You have agreed to uh, take this money. We owe Mike Azuri this money for some business and you have agreed to accept the money on his behalf. I said yes. Yeah. Right, we need to set up an account to get the money, the funds transferred to you in the account. I said, okay. Right, so I sent them all my details. When I logged on, I logged on to this link and it's coming from Apex Limited. I see my picture up there with a picture of my passport. Okay. And then when I've looked and then, uh, oh, right, hold on. And then it said Citibank will be contacting you. These are the people that will be transferring the money into my account. Okay. Okay. Citibank from Turkey. So I said, okay. 
The next day, I got a phone call from, I've got the, the man's, Mr. Austin, he's on my phone, because I've still got the number in my phone. Mr. Austin, uh, I'm Mr. Austin from Tur uh, Tur City Bank in Turkey, and the number, when he called me, it came up Turkey. Okay. Right, so that's how I believed him, because it said Turkey. I went, okay, yeah, have you spoken to Mike Azuri? Yeah, I've spoken to Mike, and he's told me exactly what you want me to do. You want me to accept this money on his behalf? He said, yeah. I said, he said, have you opened up the link we sent you? To, to make sure, like, you know, all your details are correct. I said, yeah, I've looked, I see my picture, I see my passport, I see everything. At this point, I've not seen anything with the money yet, just yes. my details set up on this account. Right, so this man's talking to me from Turkey. So I got off the phone, I called Mike, I said, Mike, someone from Turkey, Mr. Austin's just called me to say that this transaction is going through. Oh, thank you, baby, you don't know what this means to me, thank you, because I really do need this money. When I went in the next day to, 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 for them to transfer the money to my account. When I've opened up the link, I've got half a million dollars sitting there. Half a million. Sorry, um, this is UK account. Uh, City Bank from Turkey. Yeah. From Turkey. Okay. It's from Turkey. Half a million. So I dollars, started, pounds? Um, no, it was dollars. Okay. It was dollars. I'm Do sorry. Into... It says it's in my, coming into my name yeah. on behalf of Mike Azurier. Okay. So I called Mike and I said, Mike, are you for real? Do you want me to accept half a million dollars? What, in my name, in my account? I said, hell no, no. He said, oh, you've got to do this for me, babe. Please, we've come this far. But I said, no, no, no. My sister's an accountant. I showed it to my sister. And I said to my sister, she, I showed her everything on the on the email, it, and she saw my picture with this bank account set up. I said to my sister, "Is this real?" She said, "Don't do it. That's okay. money laundering. Yeah, be careful what you're doing." I told him I'm not doing it. He went mad. He went ballistic. Okay. And then that was it from then. And then I thought, right, something's not right. It was so many other things. And then I pulled him up about. I said, "Listen, I know you're a scammer." I'm telling you, Mike, you are, you are a scammer because I went on his page and I could see ladies coming onto the Mike Azu page. You scammed me. You have took my money. My money's gone. Yeah. And then uh, my mind's working overtime. I'm seeing a big red flag coming up now. Okay. So I approached him about it. And with Mike Azurier, he will play you for years. For, I've, I've known women from the USA. He's played them for four years, three years. And you all think you're dating him one-to-one. -one. He's yeah. doing this... He's, he's scamming the whole goddamn globe. He's doing this with every woman worldwide. Every woman's getting the same story. And then when I met the other ladies from USA, he was doing the same with them, trying to get them to do money laundering scams. Okay. Some of them fell for it. I feel sorry for the ladies that fell for it because some of them lost their jobs. Some of them, their bank accounts were closed down because they took money into their account. Fraudulent deal on behalf for Mike Azurier. He's done a lot of damage, a lot of emotional damage to every woman. Complete distress. I've listened to women cry, and, and let's not even get with a blackmail scam, because I sent you the picture, his new picture, of him in his birthday suit. His new picture. Are you sure that was him? Sure, yeah. Are you sure that's him? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm, I'm going to allow Cherries to speak. Um, and I can, you know, Hello. Just, just hold on, Cherries. I would, would not put up those pictures. No, yet. I'm telling you. Oh no, 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 no. There's nothing of me. You do have nothing to worry no, about. No, 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 no. I was one of the smart he's, ones. <laughs> his, his birthday suit with his friend. Oh, the kids are here. With his friend Friends. between his legs. Yeah. It's gone everywhere. Every woman's got that. Every woman he sends it to, and it's you know why he does it? It's disgusting. It's a blackmail scam. Because what he does, he romances these ladies and he sends these pictures of his private parts and he tells these ladies, I'm feeling horny for you. I want to romance you. And you're, you're seeing these private parts and he's got the vulnerable women. You know the vulnerable women? The women that are not, I'm not, no disrespect to them, the women that are not bright and clever. And he knows how to manipulate and he will get them to strip. And he's done it. I've got pictures of these ladies where they're stripped for him. And the reason why he does it, because when he asks you for more money and you do not send the money, he will then tell you, if you're, if you do not send me more money now, I am going to put your nude pictures up on social media. I've saved five women from being blackmailed. I've had five women on my phone screaming, please help me. I am being scammed by Mike Azurier or his gang because he's trained these boys to do the same thing. 
He's trained all those fake Mike accounts to do these things with Lady Dex. So you're saying he has young boys working? Yeah, he has. I've caught them. They're, I've caught How I, do you know they're linked? Because they told me. Because I told them, now I've caught you. Now I've got you on the phone. I'm going to get you locked up and arrested. I've now got your number. And, I, and some of them have shown me their picture. I've got their picture. I went screenshot, screenshot. And then they're telling me, oh, please, please don't get me arrested. I said, so tell me you work for Mike. They told me they work for Mike and they call him chairman. How do I know what they call him chairman? And I know this is a fact now, Mike Azuri, that you are called chairman because your birthday the other day, mm. your colleagues put a post up for you. You put it on your Mike Azuri page. They wished him happy birthday. And I went, bingo. One of them went to you, happy birthday, chairman. That's what they call him, chairman. And another one told me they call him a big time heartless scammer. Another one told me that Mike Azuri was collecting $2,000 a month from each wow. scam account that is on social media. So every time they scam women, he goes around every month, collects his wages from the scam accounts, and then he's scamming himself. This is a big time Mike Azuri scamming operation. Are you telling me that he calls himself, and he can get on here because I'll tell him, you are, you are calling yourself a respectable Nollywood actor. What Nollywood actor would allow 500 fake Mike accounts on Instagram on Twitter, on Facebook, yeah. scamming the whole globe, making out their Mike Azuri. Who does that? I've had to close down all these accounts by myself. Can they hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sure. Instagram have helped me do that. And I showed you proof, haven't I? I showed you proof of all the accounts that have been shut down. As every time I go to Instagram, impersonation, and I put his name, Mike Azuri, impersonation, Instagram comes back to me, closed, removed, shut down for violation. So how comes, Mike Azuri, I can close down your scammering accounts that you say have got nothing to do with you. It's not, it's not me. You don't know them. You do know them because half of them work for you. This is your scammering operation that you've been running. Well, thank you, Instagram, because Instagram have helped me shut down half of your accounts. I've sent Rose and Maury all the scamming numbers that I've got on my phone all these scammers that I've caught. And your, your scamming number is in there as well, Mike Azuri, because I caught you too. You damn well know I caught you too on those scamming numbers, all right? I've gone through hell saving these ladies worldwide from your disgusting scamming ring and blackmailing women for their money with your sick birthday dick pictures that you're sending around the goddamn world to scam women with. He makes me well, sick. No, oh, he does. I'm sorry. I think we know. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely makes you sick. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Maury, do you have a question, please? Put a question yes, through. you know, from all what you've said, um, Sandra, you said um, you gave him money a number of times. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. What I have a problem with, with that is, you know, you paid, you gave him money via MoneyGram. Um, one was MoneyGram, and then the other two was, um, yeah, MoneyGram. It was MoneyGram. Was some anyone? of the ladies was Western Union. Okay. The other ladies was Western Union they were sending. And I sent you the receipts with all of his yeah, names. That, that, How much in total? How much in total did you give to me? But my mine run up to about 1,500, 1,500 pounds. Yeah, pounds. And you owe him, and, 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 I hope he's listening. You owe me more money than that because you owe me for emotional stress emotional damage, saving all these victim, victims worldwide from your scamming, dating fraud, scamming romance. I want to sue you for that big time. And you also owe me money for catching all the fake money. I have to mobile bill to catch these fake scammers that are playing you and acting as you and scamming these women for their hard earned money. So as far as I'm concerned, his name only means one thing. He's a scamming lying thief. That's what he is. Okay, could we just um mm. that's what he is. <laughs> a bit, you yeah. Well it's like how you feel. You understand we have to just Yeah, but that is how I feel, it's the truth of it. I've been I've been doing this from 2017. Mm. I work full time, I run my own business, I have to come on every night and put this man up on social media so I can save women from this date scam that he's got going on. Save them from stop accepting these requests from these Mike Azuri um, scamming accounts. Okay. Stop it. All right, that's fine. Back to okay. the 500 pounds and half a million dollars. Yeah, the half a million. So that was eventually. No, I, I said I'm not doing it. Okay. I said I'm not doing it. Yeah, I'm not doing that. No way. And after that, after that incident, did you have anything to do with it? 
Yeah, I, that's when I confronted him. I said, listen, Mike, something's not right. I know you're a scammer. You know what he does? When you go to go to call him the next day, you look on the phone, he's blocked you and he's run. Oh. And I decided, right, you're not doing this with me. And I came after him. Okay. And I've exposed him. Okay, There's so much noise in the background. Yeah, guys. Please, thank you. Can you just gently, can you just quietly mute? It's some okay. guy that just came on, I think. I oh, think no, he's sorry. Coming. Precious AZ, please, we need you to mute, please. The, those okay. people. Uh -huh. Okay, now, um, Clarice, you want to tell us your own experience? Mm -hmm. Okay, my name is Sharice. I am from the United States. Um, I met him in 2018 of you March. Who do you? Mike do you as Iran yet. I never heard of. Right, I never heard of him. Didn't know him. Didn't know anything about him. He reached food. out to me, and when he reached out to me, um, my um situation is different from Sandra's because he never in the beginning asked me for money with me we became supposedly friends and what he wanted me to do for him was wire transfers so I did the wire transfers from uh to send to various people he would send the money to me and then in turn I would send the money to whoever he wanted me to send to. So he never asked me per se from for money out of my own pocket. But what I was doing, what I failed to realize, working for a government agency, I was actually doing money laundering that could jeopardize my career. Very interesting. Um, you know, he was interested in me to a certain point. I never received new pictures from him. I don't know why he made me different than he made the other ones. Uh, he never asked for pictures from me to blackmail me. Maybe I was one of the smarter ones. Not to say that all the other women were not smart, but those those little things he never asked of me. He never tried to blackmail me. It was between Mike and I, it was always more of a confrontational type arguments with each other. Like, Why were you guys arguing? Well, we would because he would want me to do things, and I would say, "Well, that's illegal. That's against my is illegal against the position that I was in. So okay. therefore, I wasn't going to do that, you know." And then he did on two occasions put money into an account. He put a uh, a check into my Citibank account, where Citibank is because I have a, a ten year relationship with them. They immediately caught it and let me know that it was a fraudulent check. Yeah. So okay. they had to close the account. Okay, so this, and this, then, what, what's this hold up, hold up, wait a minute. Let me okay, finish, please. Okay, and then the next, the next account was my Wells Fargo mm -hmm. account. He put four checks in there for five hundred dollars. Wells Fargo, because they are connected here in the United States, you have to understand these these banks talk to each other, mm -hmm. whether you have an account with them or not. So when one account becomes suspicious with some, it alerts another account. So therefore, the Wells Fargo account was alerted immediately, knowing of four or $500 checks, which would have totaled up to $2,000. They immediately closed that account. And then they told me to press charges. Okay. okay. So what did Mike tell you before putting the money into your account? Oh, he always told me it was real. It was real. He couldn't understand why I couldn't get the money out for him. He wouldn't do anything to hurt me. Hmm. Okay. All the money was real. Okay, Sherry's, how long did you guys stay in this relationship? This, uh, you said we stayed in from March of 2018 up until April 2019, where I got tired of him. I okay. got tired of the games. Sandra reached out to me at one point. And when Sandra reached out to me in the beginning, I was like the other women. I was like, oh, no, that's not true. That couldn't be him. He's a millionaire. <laughs> He's a Nollywood so actor, right director, producer. Of course, he wouldn't do anything like that. But then when I started reading the, uh, the comments from other women, there's one woman in particular that stands in my mind that was living in Bryant, Texas. She really, really thought that she was marrying him. Mm 
She went out, she bought a wedding gown. She bought wedding ring. She stole money from her church for this wedding. And then not only her, they did a so-called wedding online. And so she clearly believes that she is his wife. And then I started seeing other women that thought they were his wife. You know, I had women approach me and say, you're not Mrs. Ezeranye. I am. And I was like, hey, good luck to you. You can have them if you want. I, you know, it doesn't mean that much to me. Um, you know, but I then I started noticing when I Googled him, red letters came up beside his name. Scammer alert. Hmm. You know, and so I started reading more and more and more. And all these women had the same thing going on, that they were giving him money. They were... Um, you know, what? What? Don't even let me forget. Yeah, I used to send the um, stream cards or the iTunes cards to him, or the cards where he could play his music on the Apple app, I guess. You know, so but all these women were giving so much more money than him, uh, to him, to, and thousands and thousands of dollars, and several women were buying wedding rings and wedding gowns thinking that they were really going to marry this man and so you know i was like all of this cannot be a coincidence because i actually blocked sandra for a minute because i didn't believe her but then when i started doing my own investigation and checking it out then i realized hey everybody can't be lying on this man you know because he he told me i mean he clearly told me that they you know it wasn't true you know they were jealous of him and baby don't believe this you know you know it's me and you and oh by the way he and i were supposed to get married i believe probably in 2018 uh 2018 december and and supposed yes and supposedly supposed to be married yeah, we were going to get married too, but oh wait, 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 wait! No, 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 no! Don't get it! Don't get the game twisted, honey. I never bought a wedding gown. I never bought a ring, you know, because I was not in love with him like that, you know. But we were supposed. He supposedly introduced me to a woman that was his mother, who I'll never know to this day. And the mother talked to me and told me <laughs> how much he loved me and cared about me and wanted to be with me. And I was the only one and I was going to be good for her son and blah, 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 blah. blah. But now I was like, yeah, okay. That's what the Whatever. Okay. Yeah, that's what the mother said. Yeah. You know, yeah, so. You, it was that yeah. a live video call? Did you do a live video call with the mother? Um, <laughs> did I do a live video call with the mother? No, you didn't. No, 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 no. Okay, but sure. we did, we did talk on what the mother and I did talk on WhatsApp. Mm-hmm. Um, so she could see me, but I could not see yeah. her. Was it going to come from America? Was it an online wedding as well? I can't hear ladies all at one time. Oh, yes. And the Yahoo boys come into play because mm-hmm. I had a personal friend of his mm-hmm. named Justice. Justice. Justice was my confidant. Justice <laughs> used to try to when Mike and I would argue, would try to patch us up, you okay. know, to tell me that Mike really loved me and cared about me and I was the one for him and he, I was the one that he really wanted to be with. He didn't know why we argued the way we did all the time. And so he would patch us up because Mike would block me. Okay. Mike would block me for a while. And then, you know, once I would say, oh, well, you know, I'm sorry, blah, 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 this, you know, I don't want things to be like this. Then he would unblock, unblock me. And then we would talk again. And but then I was not the only one in the United States. There was also another woman. That was like a third. Did you send no, money? no, no. I never sent money. So this this other money laundry. No, I right exactly, and okay. that's where it came into. But are you so sure it's the real Mike, the Nollywood actor. You met him. She's met him because I met him. He's met him, Prince Princess. You've gone off. Is that you, okay, Cherry? Yes, I'm here with you. Okay, yeah. Cherry, can you hear me? You met with yeah, me. I can hear you. Princess is okay. I'm speaking to Cherise now. So you said you met with Mike. When did you meet with him? 
Uh, this was 2018 as well. In America, you met him in America? Or did you came yes. to Nigeria? No, 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 no. I, I would never come to Nigeria. Why? Because I don't, I don't believe I would get back. <laughs> I love myself. I love myself too much to j put my life in jeopardy. And like I said, I work for I work for the federal government, so I cannot I cannot jeopardize my livelihood or my career. Okay, so do we have princess? Also, has princess princess has dealt with dealings with him, but yeah, his princess is not a dating one. She will tell yeah. you that story. Okay, princess, please can you yeah. talk? Hi, everyone. Can we hear you, please? Can't fire you loud. The can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Can't see you. Okay. Well, I think precisely it's for 2016. Princess, can you put on your video, please? Thank you. Click the video. The video. Okay. Mm. I, don't... I don't know what she did, but she I put it up where I can't see anybody. But I guess you guys can see me. <laughs> we can see you. Oh, but we saw. Okay. Hello. Can you see me now? No, no, I no. cannot. No. There, I, okay, I see three ladies. Click the link, the video button. Okay, let me have a look. Because you were there before. She was the one in the train. Yeah. It's just the button, the video button. Just click on oh, it. Okay, okay. Thank uh, you. Come back. So, yeah, so go ahead. We can hear you. Can you just... Yes. Um, I think precisely Mike and I got to know each other from Facebook. He was the one that contacted me from Facebook and sent a friend... Your please lift your phone to your face, please. Just take your Pardon? phone... Pardon? Take your phone up to your face, please. So we can see you clearly. Yeah, so we can see you clearly. Okay. There you go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hold your yeah. phone in your hands. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. There so, you go. Mike, 2016, yes, precisely. He sent a friend request. So, later, I. The network is bad. bad. She's bad. She's the network's bad. Yeah, the network's bad. She's on accepted the friend request so from their friends he kept on telling me John she here and we can just be friends I don't need any relationship from him so one time he showed me his son and we got I mean I got interested with the son telling me that oh his son is with him he's not with the mom and he's the one taking care of the son so all of a sudden Mike said well that son I've seen he has heart problem that this is the second time he will be attacked with heart problem so I felt, you know, as a mother, I said, how old is he that's going to have a problem? I said, well, sorry, I have nothing because that time I lost my job. But I will be praying for him. I won't tell my members of my church to pray with me for your son. So after that, he said his son has been admitted to the hospital. Oh, my God. He always uses the son. Some no. money. No. <laughs> yes. So based on... That, when he said, I said, Mike, do you know that I'm no. Okay, I think you're on the move, and we're going to keep experiencing this issue with the network. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're maybe, maybe, train. yeah, so maybe when you arrive at your destination. destination. So, Princess, I'm going to mute, I'm going to mute you. I will mute you, Princess. Um, so, let, let's hear from our parliament. Baroness um, Jimmy. Please. Now, but he said, as I told him that you're a big man, you should have all the hospital going on now. I mean, he has school, and the boy is lying there in the hospital. Him something for his son to support him. So I promised him, I said, I don't have much. We're, we're having issues with Pardon? your network. Can you hear me, Princess? I think she's gone completely, lady. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yes. hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. So, hello? Um, first of all, um, I'd, I'd like to welcome everybody to um, Rose's show. Thank you, Rose, for inviting me along to be part of the panelists of this okay. interesting show. <laughs> now, um, um, the ladies, um, Cherise and Sandra, if I'm right, and then Princess. Yeah. Um, first of all, I'd like to say 
sorry, you, you know, for what you experienced, you obviously had a bad experience. Um, and I do, I don't know if I should apologize, but I, my heart goes out to you. I don't, I'm not apologizing for anything because I, you know, but my heart goes out to you Thank for you. the experience that you must have had. So sorry about that. But I'm going to ask one quick question before I give my opinion, because I have to leave in about five minutes. I've got um, another meeting to attend to. Now, did any one of you actually chat with him? Because somebody, I think somebody asked the question before. Did you, did any one of you actually have a face-to-face -face meeting with this person yes. at any time? Yeah. A face-to-face -face meeting? Yes. No, no, I had mine. There's a live video call and I screenshotted him and I've sent the ladies the picture of him in his bed with the screenshot of him in the bed talking to me. With his face and everything. Every, no, you're looking at Mike is here. You're not looking at no fake Mike. You're looking at him in, in his bed. That's Mike. That's no fake Mike. I sent it to okay. you. Well, okay, okay. Now, I, I totally understand that because the reason I asked that question is that is anyone of you Nigerian? No. Anyone? No. Yes, I saw no. I saw my yes. glide uh, twice Chris, because when yes, yes. Uh, because the, there was so when he came back, he said somebody has hijacked. I asked him to do video. See him. When we are chatting. I told. Okay, there is okay. There is my reason for asking that question is that if you were Nigerian, like Rose, like all the Nigerians on this panel will tell you, that is not a new thing. Okay, I have been. You know, um, people using names because I, I'm not saying you haven't experienced anything and I'm not totally ruling out whoever contacted you. But bear it in mind that what you've experienced is what people normally experience on a regular basis every day. Okay, even here in the UK, even here in the UK, British people, all the British people in their 70s, in their 80s, they've fallen victims to scams like this. Yeah. Okay, I can, if there, there isn't enough time to start to tell you of the different scenarios you can encounter. Okay, people regularly use actors' names, presidents' names, traditional yeah, names, that. regularly to contact people. I have received them. I receive them all the time. But the reason I well, what happens when you see them face to face up close and personal? You can't yeah. get any more real than that. That's right. So it's him. Well, well, I, I, I like well so what? He has a double? Is that can what I, you're saying? Can I just finish? I've just got, I've got just about 20 minutes. Okay. I don't have a lot of time. And I've li we've listened to you for over 20 minutes. Now, like I did say, I'm not ruling out what you've been through. And I'm not ruling out the fact that Mike or anybody got in touch with you and you experienced what it is you went through, okay? But I'm trying to make you understand that if there's any one of you that has not seen this person that you dealt with face to face, if there is no real proof that the person you actually spoke to is Mike, then it's mm. very, very possible you were dealing I, with I, the I, face. I, I screenshotted, I took a screenshot of him when I was talking to him. I screenshot to prove that I was talking to that man and it was him. And the, the, sorry to cut you, the, that night when he called me, he had a sore on his lip and I've got- Can, can I just finish, man? Can I just finish? You spoken, I, you spoken for over 20 you minutes and we what? allowed you to speak that I've Please, please, you've please. 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 been talking to me right now. I have to go in a few minutes, yeah. which is why I have to be Now, this, this, this industry is what we call 419 Nigeria. <laughs> somebody, somebody's uh, coming through. Uh, uh, the booth. Can you, can you, can you, can you, I saw Mike twice. The first time we start space, I want to see him. I told you. Uh, can I finish speaking? I need to leave in the next 15 yeah. seconds. I need to leave, please, which is yeah. why I need to quickly get this yeah. here. I'm sorry, but I really need to leave, okay? Now, <laughs> 419 is a big industry and it's been going on for ages, for years. It's not a new thing. And people being scammed like this is also not new. If you say you, did, you have a chance for them, you have proof that you dealt with Mike. Like I said, I don't know him. He's not my family. I know him of Hollywood, of Nollywood. He's not somebody I've met. I'm not defending him or indeed anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to make you realize that there's the possibility that the person you dealt with is not who you think it is. Well, I'm not trying to undermine your experience. I'm not trying to undermine your experience. 
I'm just saying that if I was a, if I was that kind of a popular person, I am not going to be stupid enough to use my name to scam people all over the world. Right. Excuse me. Mm. For me, I saw my twice video. Okay, okay, wait. No. I please. saw my twice. No, 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 no. Princess, please. Um, can you please just hold on for a minute? Thank you. Um, I just want Sandra to respond. Princess, because you're on the you're having issues. Your reception is not really good. So until you get to Place where we can have the Sorry, yeah, no, Baroness. Sorry, please. We we understand how this thing works. Can we, if you're not yet, it's, it's not yet time for you to speak. Can you just please? Well, we have your say when it's time for you to come on. Yeah, thank you, Baroness. Can I use your phone? What is your phone? I understand what you're saying. Where's your phone? I understand where you're coming from. Because I've caught over 500 of these mics that are using um, his, his, um, his, his, his pictures. I understand. Please, if you're not speaking, because I can barely hear the lady, if you can, know, some, yeah. can you have some decency? Put off your mic. Oh, goodness. I don't want to get angry, but please. Which, which the, 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 the I have photographs. Everybody, everybody, Rose. Right. She's gone. Is she gone? No, she's still uh, there. I have a photograph of Mike, his face, his private part up in the air, which he sent. You said. Are you sure of the photograph? Yes, it's him. Are you sure of the photograph? It's I'll be interested. It's, it's him. His face. It's him. <laughs> Don't be the photograph. Can we see? You need to have that food. You need to show us that food. Okay, no, so I she, love she, to show us. She wants to okay. show us. I'm going to let someone else weigh in. I don't even like to do that. I sorry, like sorry. While, while, while we're waiting for the photograph, can I have um, Precious Eze? I know I muted you. Is, do we still have Precious? Right. Can, can I just say something? Can I just say something to Baroness? You, know, just, yeah, I don't, I don't right, you see you this mean, photograph here? Can she see it? Rose, what are you saying, Rose? Okay, let me let me share let me share a picture. I, I think I have that I picture on the Rose. laptop. Is he is he actually right to share his picture on his laptop? No, no, no. For argument's sake. We do have. No, we, we do. We, should we just want it. to share the picture she said she had. Well, I think I think him. I think we do have the right to share it because it was sent to me from him. Yeah. Okay, but well, you know, there's something I would like to do at we this to point. To I, I'm sorry to cut in. I think I do think you did need some legal advice before you um, regarding these pictures. To be honest. But it was sent. No, so why? It was it's all over social but you media. You don't have a concrete agreement to share his picture well, in that state publicly. So I will want to come off of the platform if you have to share it. Yes. Right. Well, let me ask you a question. No, 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 what? No, 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 let me ask you a question. No, 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 this no. picture. Yeah, yeah. Need for are we here to address? Are we here to address the issue? issue. Of well, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. It's about him in particular. Many, everybody, it's, too many people are trying to talk. In particular, there has been issues about this that we're trying to sort out. You got the brief, but just hold on, just a minute, please. Mike has already sent us a video of himself. If you see, if because I really don't understand what you guys are talking about, he's a public figure, and if there's an image of him, if we're talking about him, we can share that. He's yeah, a public I, I, figure. I, I, and then, sorry, please. Sorry. And he sent us a video of his for us to play because he cannot be here because he's presently on set. So he did send us a video for us to. So, so it's got, he, he allows all these fake mics to use his. No, there's no way. No, there's no way. It's on social media. No, you know something. You, I should this right now. Let's be very careful. Let's check, you know, cautiously. With that picture of he him. He sent me that private. We just, that's a private thing he sent to you. We right. don't have, I don't think we have the legal, you know. You guys stop talking about legal rights that we don't know. 
no, 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 Oh, excuse right. me, excuse me. May I say something? Yes. Being from the legal profession, may I say something? Oh, you stopped the video? No, 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 no. no okay, yeah. so may I say something? Being from the legal profession, once you put yourself out on social media, that is for the world to see. You've opened yourself up to everybody. So legally, what can be done to you? If you shared it with thousands of women, on social media, that gives the right for everyone to see it. And that is from a legal point, legal standpoint. No. Yes, my daughter yes. Is very yes. much so. Please, we don't know it's the one. What do you, I, I do not understand this, honestly. I don't understand what you people mean. Michael Zoria is a public figure. He's no, and so am I. But I don't put my pictures out for everyone to see. So his picture is everywhere. And he even sent us a video. Yeah. Look, you know what? You know what? Let me ask you something. Before, excuse, okay, excuse, okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. May I say something? Before I even met. Wait a minute. But no, no. Let me say something to because I'm trying to make a point here. Before I even met any of these young ladies, I was able to go to a website and see his pictures as well. So if I'm able to see it, that means everybody else on social media, if they want to go on his page, can mm. see these pictures as well. I mm. saw them. Personally, he never sent anything to me. He never did anything like that with me. He never shared anything like that with me. But in order for me to see his pictures, I was able to go on social media and see them. So once I, again, as I said, a legal standpoint, once you open yourself up out like that to everyone, yeah. there are no bars hold. You are no longer protected legally. Because if you wanted to be protected legally, then you don't expose yourself to the world. Exactly. Now, if it's easy for me to see, it's easy for anyone else to see. I don't know this man from a can of paint. I had never heard of him. Mm. He was me nothing too. to me. I had no dealings with Lagos, Nigeria, or anybody else. I'm a United States individual. He came to me. He did what he did with me. But as far as okay. the pictures go, what I'm saying Can to I you, say you expose yourself. So you expose yourself for anyone to see. Plain and simple. Okay, you know what? I want to show, I'm going to play a video of Mike Isoree now. That he said, mm. letting us know why he cannot be here. So for everyone. I don't know. I don't want to know. But... I can't hear him. She can't hear him. But no, I can't hear him. Can't can you see him? I see him moving his hand back okay. and forth, but I can't hear anything he's saying. That's a, that's a, that's okay, a. Let, me, um, let me increase the volume. I've increased the volume. I'm going to take it back so you could hear it from the beginning. So. Okay. It's not, it's not audible. It's not audible at all. Yeah, I'm hearing bits and pieces. Same here. No, I don't, no, I don't hear anything. He's very faint. Okay, because I, I can hear him, sorry. <laughs> He's not um, making sense to me. I can't hear him. Just one minute. If you want me to play it, I'm going to play it again. Just hold on. Okay. He's a scam. Stop posting your dick. God bless you. Uh, myself and, and, and my uh, 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 this platform. Uh, so, you know, this will definitely be on Saturday. You know, we'll get back to you. God bless you. 
Yeah, God bless your dick. I'm sorry. sorry. So, hold, hold on. Sandra. <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> Sandra, we're going to be <laughs> And he's going to get to the core of it. We've got to the core of it. We've got his dick pic. Could you please repeat what I said? We've all, but I wanted to react to what what Mike said. Yeah, he said he's from the United Kingdom. Oh, really? And oh, really? Would he's going to come on this interview and talk about this? And then, of course, the two of you would. He's been he's been to the United Kingdom already with a lady called Micheline. Okay. And she took him to the police station and he told the police that she was blackmailing him. We have a picture of Michael Zorini at the Caribbean oh, police station here in South East London. So I'm going to share that photo pretty soon. Mike is just trying to let us know that he's... Hey, what Mike said. Sorry, I'm going to put it on now. Um, what about Rachel, um, Sandra? I'm sorry, what about uh, Rachel? Yeah, Rachel couldn't come on because she's at work. She's on night shift. Okay. Okay, yeah, so okay. I'm just trying to let us know that Mike isn't... Uh... So good, you can come and meet me and Rachel. Okay, hmm. so let me do this. Just just one minute, because um, Mike is letting us know he isn't running away from anything. Mm -hmm. that, like uh, he, he, would, he would like to sort out this issue. But while we're doing this... Can I, um... Sorry, can I ask you something? Did he tell you about the, the corrupt solicitor's letters that he sent me then? So don't worry, we're going to get together and we're going to show it. So can, can we can we have can, 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 can we have uh, Madam Kemi way in here? Madam Kemi Johnson, please. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for having me. And it's uh, it, it's a bittersweet story that one is hearing. And I said there uh, is bitter because obviously no woman should have to face this kind of issue, be it online or on the internet. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of sweet, uh, painfully sweet, in the sense that uh, men from days memorial, they always know how to play around and uh, get the vulnerable women on the go. This is not to say that uh, some women are, uh, I don't want to use the word not clever or what have you, because it's, it's anybody, any woman can fall a victim. They just need to press the right button. They need to press the right key. Anyone on social media will tell you that one way or the other, they've seen someone come into their inbox to say, hello, beautiful. Mm -hmm. what are you? I still had that mm -hmm. this morning. Mm -hmm. And that is regardless of stature, you know, your look or wherever you're based or what have you. Mm -hmm. And like uh, Sandra said earlier, uh, I, I mean, Rose said earlier, it's something that happens worldwide. It's not something just peculiar to Nigeria or Ghana or UK or US. It's, it's, a, it's a weapon the men has mastered over the years. Apologies to anyone for listening to me. And it just happens to be that social media has amplified and kind of like provided men with an innovative way to do things. And these people are very, very uh, clever with whatever they do because they study. They don't just pick a random person. They will follow you over time. And after understanding people, they know the right things to say and they can smell people's vulnerability. They know your weaknesses. Like you, you, you don't need to meet me now to know the kind of person I'm potentially likely to be. If you go on my social media page, you can tell. And, and this is just what this be. They are craftsmen and they're scammers. And uh, even though we are talking about Mike now, I can tell you there are millions of clones of Mike on social media, Instagram, Twitter, what have you, they are everywhere. I think my own aspect to this is just a case of, which is why I asked the question earlier, is it just about my, because there's so many mics out there. And what can we- I don't know, I wasn't interested in them at all. I had never heard of them. So it no, didn't yes, mean anything so to me. Mike. I'm not saying Mike, uh, no, whatever his surname is, I'm saying there's so many men operating as Mike. Mm -hmm. You understand? Well, well how can you pro how can you proclaim how how can you proclaim to be Mike if you're in live and living part if you're live? I can't proclaim to be anybody. Not, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about video, dear. I'm talking about in person. Wh who are you then? No, <laughs> what I'm saying is with with the case of Mike, yeah, it's I'm talking about Mike Ezeranye. 
live and a living person face to face. How are you going to be? How are you going to be clones in? I am, are you telling I am, me that's I am a not to defend him. Mm -hmm. and I'm, okay, no, I'm, I'm just asking. I'm asking a question. If you meet someone in person, which I meet a lot of celebrities in person, <coughs> are you going to tell me you're not real then? No, it's not about him okay, being okay. real. What I'm asking, okay. what I'm saying, if you could allow me to to, to uh, okay. put okay. out my thoughts here, it's not okay. the fact that uh, Mike is real or unreal. You understand? As a matter of fact, it could be him doing all this thing. And I'm not going to be in any way trying, even an inch close to defending his heart in any way, because whatever way or shape or color we put it, what is bad is bad. That's right. Is a scammer. Yeah. And if at all, you know, they said behind every hired, uh, you know, for every rumor, there's some hired as truth. Three people, women have spoken on this platform. Obviously, three of you cannot be lying. That is my own assumption. So my heart goes out to you guys for whatever it is that you have experienced. But my being on this platform tonight is not because of what you have experienced, but because of what the first lady that spoke said. It's all about. <laughs> In providing safety, education, giving other women the kind of orientation that will make them spot the, spot the next mic on their platform. That is what I think that we having this information needs to now go out and say, okay, you know what? It is not every man that comes in your and says hello, hi, that is credible regardless of their profession. There are some professors mm -hmm. that could be on your pl platform. They are using tie. They dress in nice regalia. I once have a Nollywood actor by the name uh, Coral, and he will come in my inbox and say hello. I've been having uh, somebody send mm -hmm. me uh, something. Nino Lowo. Nino Lowo. I've got in the last month alone, if I won't be lying, I've got about 10 different or more friend requests from people. And I felt, am I that famous? Am I that important? That ah. someone will just be targeting me? And all I do is delete. Another one is a lady evangelist. And every day, like I wake up in the last month, I always see a friend request from her. You understand, this is a lady's name now because once they know that you are not susceptible to men, they come okay. in ladies. So it comes in different shape and form. There are several times that I've seen it. I, I, I think it's a group. They're like a group of people. No, my husband, they, these people are operating as a group of network. That's right. Exactly. It, yeah. They are the next Ashi puppies. You understand? So it's not just, and this is what we need to now recognize that social media is no longer a place to just socialize blindly. It is a place to socialize with emotional intelligence. And whenever you are coming from there, treat everybody you meet on social media as a total stranger. Yes, I do now. <laughs> as a total stranger. And then I, I think to be honest with you, I think we're all aware of that. that we're coming this is in so annoying. Home. How can somebody that prominent and what have you? And these are the people that I, I, I don't want to go deep into that, but it's the fact that a lot of women, 1,500 pounds. That's no joke, man. So multiply 1,005 by, by 10 women in a year. What do you come up with? So it's a very lucrative business these people are doing. Yeah, and they know yeah. exactly whatever they are doing. And I will not excuse that for any time. The yeah. most important thing is, if you've got the evidences and what have you, and you want to pursue this on your own, you feel like a, a strong uh, a team of women who do this together, you can get you can get it done in this part of the world, but go to Nigeria, it's dead. You I understand? Know. I know. If you can find a legal formal way to actually follow this up, I think it will work mm -hmm. better. I tried. I tried when he and said And another thing is the more information you put out there against him, the lesser your case, uh, your uh, weighty your case will be. You know why? Because you are empowering them to find a kind of counter. Rest yes. Yeah, so hold on. So if when, you really, when, you really when, want to pursue this, and I'm talking to you from uh, a community support 
viewpoint now. And I'm not just giving my personal opinion. If you really think you desire justice and you want to pursue this, it may be better. Can you still hear me? Yeah, yes, we can hear you. Yeah. It may be yeah. better that you uh, mobilize the group of people that is being impacted one way or the other. And then try to look for a more constructive way to get in because the more of this info you bring out and you give evidences, the lesser your case, uh, this uh, waiting your case will be when it gets to the court of law. But, but I um, would want to see people like this bring, uh, being, being really, really dealt with because we need cases of celebrities <coughs> out there so that at least they can serve as a kind of a scapegoat. There's a lot of them out there. But above all, in our various network, and we're well done, Rose, for bringing this <coughs> need to educate women. It is not every man saying, I love you. <coughs> so many women are suffering in this UK because not just UK, Nigeria, not everywhere. They just everywhere. know. They know what to say and what yeah. to do. Yeah. And then women will just be pouring and what have you. You understand? We need but, to... Sorry. Exactly.